Hey guys, how's it going? So uh, tonight I'll be uh, doing a review um, on this uh, iPhone game called, um, I believe it's called Kung Fu Z. And uh, it's pretty much just basically like, um, it's uh, honestly it's my like, I mean, I mean, there's a lot of games out there that's kind of like this now by this time, but this is my first sort of like, I guess, if you will, like passive game, if you will. And, uh, I, you know, there's been, you know, quite a few videos out there that uh, basically have reviews of, of, of this game, you know, like basically starting from the tutorial and then, you know, they basically show the playthrough from the beginning. And um, I would rather not do that because um, there are just so many videos out there that does the same thing. I kind of want to show you like what it looks like uh, playing this game by you know spending a few dollars in it just to see what it's like. And I, I I'm I, I'm kind of like I feel like I'm kind of like halfway through the game, but like I could be totally wrong. Maybe I'm not even close. But uh, you know I've uh, got, you know as you can see I'm um, actually wait to, let me get to this other screen real quick. As you can see, I'm level 18, uh, so I've been uh, spending quite a bit of few, uh, you know, time on this game. As uh, also you can see, um, you know, one of the starter pack that you can uh, purchase or, or or booster pack if you could purchase is basically um, I have a dog that basically is that dog that with the blue blue uh, bandana uh, that jumps around helps you out. And so um, yeah, I mean I I uh, I bought the booster pad I, I pack I think. Um, things like five dollar four ninety nine um and uh, i i i found a game to be you know quite you know entertaining in the beginning i like the 8-bit graphics as you can see kind of reminds me of um city ransom you know the uh, nintendo game back in the day kind of reminds me of that so you know just a little bit of nostalgia you know uh, attached to this and uh so you know i, I don't mind spending a few dollars just so you know the uh, developers can uh you know make some money so that's one way that um they can uh, monetize on this uh, game and another way that they uh, monetize on this game I believe is um, basically through these um, ads that you know you you click on it I'm not gonna do that right now it's just for the purpose of this review but you know you watch an ad you get some free items and I think that's another way that they can uh, you know make a few extra dollars there you know so all good and uh, you know and, and uh, they so pretty much the game uh, everything kind of like comes down to let me, let me just show you the shop. So everything just kind of comes down to these, I guess, they're like pu purple gems. Sorry, I don't really read stuff these days. I just sort of like click tap. <laughs> if it looks like money, it's like all right, I know what you're doing, kind of thing. So uh, as you can see, you could like you know s you know spend some real money and buy some purple gems, and then the pur basically purple gems allows you to um. Uh, the, the purple gems, if you will, I think is uh, basically a way to um, mount. Uh, basically, it's like the currency of the game, and so um, by having that, like you could use the purple gems to uh, basically purchase various things. Like, um, let's see, yeah, purple. So you could spend purple gems on basically these uh, jade, and um, so how it works in this game is uh, if you want to. Uh, by permanent upgrades for your character, meaning that like, you know, um, which I will go through in a bit is uh, when you go through this thing called mastery, that's where you kind of like get gems as well. And gems allows you to buy these um, mastery stuff. Oh, hold, hold on, let me just clean this real quick. Um, so, so, that, so basically these jades allows you to um, enhance your character permanently. And uh, so in order to get gems, you go through, as I mentioned, mastery. And it looks like I can't do a mastery yet. But when I do, I'll be able to show you how that looks like. But basically, mastery allows you to get more jade, and then the jade can buy permanent upgrades. And But however, when you, every time you do a mastery, uh, your your character level, like or should I say your skill level, uh, lowers. And uh, I still haven't quite figured out what that magic number is, but it feels like it's uh you take a 20 level hit um sometime and sometime you don't and 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 i'll explain a little bit and bit on what i mean by that um so um you you would take a hit and so your skill level takes a hit however you could always you know gain that back by yes you can see i'm fighting these zombies 
and uh, you know you get some you know get get money and then when you get money then you can go over here and then you could like kind of upgrade your uh, character so as you can see um, there's um, basically three things you can equip your character so one is basically a shirt pants and a helmet and basically uh, whatever um, so the, the shirt so as you can see mine has is basically a shirt but it has like this one special ability uh, signifying by this star over here so if I tap this magnifying glass here you see I have a 8% dodge on that and a pants and this is a purple item so there's two stars um, so well, what I figure is um, a purple items like two stars and then there's a legendary item which is three stars I haven't seen anything beyond that but that doesn't mean there there's no item that exists beyond that but maybe I'm just not that far up ahead uh, so an orange item is even better so this one in particular ha gives me 4% crit and 23% attack and bandana uh, is uh, again purple item two with two stars and 22% attack and 3% crit so anyway so yeah you would spend money basically uh, on these and, and, and you get money by basically just kicking you know zombies ass basically and uh, so uh, so I'm just gonna spend some money real quick here so uh, just so I could get to the next level so it's pretty much just tap 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 and you know and just you know watch you know basically watch you know like this dude just you know you know taking names and kicking ass right you know and again you can see there's like another opportunity for me to Maybe perhaps make some money. I mean, you know, for, 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 for the upgrade, and I'm not gonna do that because I don't really want you guys to watch any ads because it's kind of boring. Uh, so you know, you just kind of keep going, and you know, you you get your character stronger. And I really don't think I could. Let me see if I could do anything about. It. So like, so like I'm at, at at a wave. Um, so it tells me that I could challenge a boss. So I'm gonna just uh, tap on challenging a boss, real quick. So here's a boss, and what I find out is um, you could basically watch it passively, or if you could like, you could tap it on the screen, and you'll make your character actually uh, attack quicker, based on how how fast you tap. And it looks like yep. So I beat the mini boss. I got an item. Got some money. What if, what I wind up getting next? Okay, so that's all I'm getting. So let's let's check out that helmet real quick. Uh, let's see, twenty two percent attack, three percent crit. 4% crit, 15% attack. Uh, I always like to kind of like have more crit. Just, that's just my stuff, so I'm going to equip that. Yep, I'm going to just sell that back. Uh, but pretty much when you get items like shirt, you get more hit points, and pants, uh, you get more attack. So that's kind of like your passive attack. Basically, these normal attack that your character does, uh, basically, that's attack. And then um, helmet. Is your intelligence and your intelligence uh, basically uh, gives you basically boosts your uh, special attack. So like there's there's a few special attack that like I'm gonna go through. So one of them is basically these item down here, right? Like you see there's this icon with a bomb. Uh, I think that's uh, so basically this dude will throw a bomb. Like I'll, I'll do it again. So there's like a I think five second cooldown. So again I'm gonna do this right now, and you see there's you know it's just a special move where you throw a bomb, and then you kind of like do this like motor combat kick <laughs> you can see it's a 15 second cooldown but uh so you see that and um so there's something going on here it's like a kind of like a bonus stage where if i'm able to kill like look let's see 56 zombies uh if i don't die then like i can like you know do something so i just uh, initiated a special move uh, it's like a snake attack or whatever so as you can see my character is like super crazy right now uh, so you don't unlock this until like later on in the game too. Like it took me quite a bit before this this thing got unlocked. So I'm gonna just tap it real quick just to see if I could pass this, and get some money. So if I pass this level, uh, I'll, I'll get some nice nice chunk of change that will allow me to uh, upgrade my character even quicker. So it looks like I got it. Okay, so I got like a mill. Like yeah. So that's cool. So let me just um you know boost my character up some more. I just like to do two levels at a time on my attack and uh, and and my uh, um, my I'm sorry my, my attack and my hit points um, with the uh, intelligence here. I don't really boost my intelligence as you can see. Like it's 118, 118, and a four. And the reason why is because like I just find these special attack. I mean they're helpful and all, but like I you know with the cooldown I just feel like you know you don't dish out as much as much damage. 
as like attack would, so I would rather spend money on attack. And, uh, and the hit point is just allows me to survive longer in the later stages. I'm in wave 73, so as you can see, like, you know, even previously, you see my character die quite a bit. Uh, so, so yeah, so, you know, and, um, oh yeah, so um, going back to skills, so, you know, we talked about that kick, and we talked about that stand, snake venom attack, and this one is basically like a fireball that shoots out like an ice. Kind of reminds me of Sub Zero Mortal Kombat a bit. So, um, this game takes quite a few uh, inspiration uh, from Mortal Kombat, if you will, too, like, you know, besides River City Ransom. Um, so, you know, it keeps going on. Um, so, I, I basically, I kind of show you Spectrum, the special move. And uh, so there's quite a bit of special move actually. So like, um, so under Poison Bomb, you see there's oh well actually that's Poison Bomb and then there's Power Sly, um, there's, there's the tr Triple Shuriken. Um, so this is kind of like if you were your level one special attack, if you were the tier one, yeah, instead of, instead of level one. So this is your tier one. You start with Shuriken, which you if you have played the game just a little bit, you know that's like the first move you. For a special move you unlock doesn't do a lot of damage right so like um so a smoke bomb and then uh so the tier two is this tornado keg and a shadow keg i don't know what the third one is so um next level i'll find out and then next one is like you know the fireball attack and uh so you unlocks a 22 and the snake style this is kind of like really the special move uh that gets unlocked and it cool down super crazy it's like two minutes i think or something insane so like you know I only use it like on a bonus round where you know like as you can see previously where I fight a whole bunch of zombies I use that or uh, you know when I use it on uh, when I fight a boss that usually helps too uh, so it looks like it looks like I'll unlock the next one when I hit blue belt so uh, whenever that is and so these basically the, the belt stuff gets unlocked through here uh, so you tap that dojo icon I think that's where it's at and then you tap that middle tap where the guy kind of there's a health symbol over there so or so i'm at orange belt right now so look actually actually i think it takes uh 262k and honestly i have no idea what that means to this day like i'm, I'm 96.7k you know now I, I don't know if this is um number if, if this is like money that i'm collecting or the number of zombies that i have defeated I don't know. I'm my best guess is I think it's number of zombies that I defeat. Um, so like so that's another thing of this game too. I feel like um, that's the reason why I kind of like make this video is because I feel like the game does a pretty good job showing you the basic, um, but there's a lot of these little like nuances that they don't really explain to you, and they so you kind of have to like figure it out yourself, and you're like it's like okay, what's going on here, right? And uh, so I thought, you know, this video might help some of you in terms of like, you know, uh, like what all these things mean. So like, I'm guessing that I probably have some ways to go before I complete my orange belt uh, to uh, to even get to the blue belt. And then after my blue belt, I guess I would uh, get my second, you know, special tier four move, I hope. Um, so whenever that happens. So anyway, so let's see, just see like real quick like how far I could go with wave 75 right here. I'm just going to tap, 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 see what's going on. So all right, so it looks like I have enough to challenge a boss, and uh, that's okay. Um, but it's just going to continue real quick. All right, let's see. You know what? Yeah, let's just see if I have been good enough to tackle a boss. And if not, I'm going to show you guys mastery in terms of what that means. So let's go challenge this boss. All right, Uncle Barry, let's check it out. I want to freeze him so he can attack. I'm gonna tap a whole bunch. So yeah, like, like I mentioned before, if you manually tap, you could do more attack quicker than if you rely on uh, the AI to do that for you. So it looks like I'm not very good at it. So I'm gonna do mastery. So I'm gonna click on uh, tap on this dojo icon, middle tap, and then this, so this is mastery. So as you can see, if I tap a mastery, I'm gonna get 10.5k of um, I call it jade, but this could be yin yang. I don't know. Like, and then get like three chests, and I get like two scroll. So let's uh, let's go ahead and do mastery, and then it usually ask you like, oh, are you sure? And the reason why is because uh, let me just tap out this real quick. The reason why is because once you do mastery, uh, your skill level. So right now I'm 118. 
for shirt, uh, for, for my armor, 118 for my pants, and four. Uh, I think I take anywhere between. It's hard to say. Like I, I don't know, but it, you, you would definitely take a hit on this level. Like, um, it feels like anywhere between twenty to twenty-five to fifty percent. Uh, again, the game doesn't really explain that to you, uh, but you will take a hit on this level. And then, so in order to increase it, you just again, you know, like as you defeat zombies and whatnot, you get you get money, and then the money allows you to upgrade them. So anyway, so let's do mastery real quick. Uh, ask me, am I sure? Yes, I'm sure. All right, so basically you got this. Like I don't know if this this would make a difference or not, but I feel like when they attack right here, if you, if you manually tap the screen, I feel like the character like defeats these monsters quicker. So as you can see, I'm clearing these wave. So what that means is I don't have to like start from like stage one again. So like I just got to uh, wave fourteen. So I start. I would start at wave fourteen. I'm um, sorry, forty, instead of back from one. So I got some items. So I got some money and I uh, got some more money. And more money okay so like I can't really show you but like um, so you see my, I was at 118 now my uh, my uh, chest armor is down to 81 my pants is down to 78 and my headband is down to like three you know it's like again I don't really focus on the headband thing because like I don't like you know, damage per second wise I really don't aren't doing that much damage per second you know with this with this ability I feel like attack does more damage per second so uh, it looks like I have you know 559k of uh, about half a mil uh, to upgrade my um, my uh, character so I'm, I, I usually like to keep my armor uh, I guess my shirt and my pants around at equal level so I'm gonna get it back to 71 first I'm just gonna tap tap do two levels at a time so okay so yeah that's all I can do so I'm just gonna do this thing so as you can see I'm back uh, I'm at way for 40 right now so another thing that I want to tell you though too is um, remember how we did mastery and then you get these chests uh, so unfortunately in this instance I only got chests that has money in it but sometime they would drop a chest that has armor in it be sure to equip that armor when you get them regardless of what skill set it is because uh, that armor allows you to retain your uh, skill level uh, before you hit mastery so like as uh, like in, in this example I was 118 before right say uh, let's just say one of the chests drops a shirt that shirt would be at skill level at 118 so that you don't have to spend all that money, you know, trying to get back up to that level. So, so like you could start off with being like, you know, with an attack at level 118. So that would really help your character just to kind of breeze through these lower stages real quick. And I think this is really the play replayability of this game because of this mastery concept. Because then you would have to go back, right? You would go back a few level and then that allows you to kind of like replay the stage and then... And here, you know, I'm like a total badass right now. Right? I'm just like, I'm like, you know, almost like, you know, just one hit most of these enemy, um, you know, rather quickly, right? And uh, so I'm gonna just, you know, go defeat a boss. And uh, I have 18k of uh, gem jades. I, I should really show you how what you, I do with it. So let me just defeat this real quick. So like, it's, it's such a breeze, right? You know. So I got an item here. That's cool. Some money. That's cool. Uh, so let's see what the um, so the item is basically the same, just a different like style. I equipped it just because so you guys you guys can see like how you can customize your character. Um, but you do know this though, when you do mastery, uh, you will lose all your items. Uh, you all lose your items. You will start with you know the the default white shirt, follow blue jeans and red head headband. You will always go back to that unless unless. Um, you know, remember how I talk about the chest when the chest drops an item, uh, there might be a time where I may drop a purple item or a legendary item. Uh, it's a random row. Uh, and uh, again, make sure you equip those after mastery. Don't sell it because um, it's just not worth it. I mean, because the, those items retains your previous skill level and it's going to help you so much more in the next run. Uh, you know, like just so much quicker, right? You know, so just make sure you don't sell those items and make sure you equip them uh, so yes so okay let's go back here uh, so let's just let me just show you like what you do with these uh, jades so I have 18k of jade so I'm gonna click, click on the dirt tab whoops I'm sorry second tab uh, so you can see I already spent quite a bit 
um, one one of them that like you know if you can try to like uh, I didn't know there was a max honestly I just thought like you know getting J points is uh, yeah so getting J is really important uh, so it apparently max maxed out as at level six so basically I get three hundred percent J points so basically times three of whatever the game would offer so this would allow you to permanently raise the level of you, Basically, these are um, permanent upgrades. So what that means when you hit mastery, even though your skill level kicks back down, these won't. These will stay the same. You still get these multiplier, so which is kind of nice. So they just re retains throughout the game as long as you you know upgrade them. Um, and, you know, so I follow kind of like the same um, uh, uh, priority, if you will, is I always like make sure my attack is up, and then. Uh, I, and I just kind of like make sure that my attack is, is way up and then I spend some t points on um, on HP uh, so here it looks like I have enough to uh, get a, you know another boost on my attack and I'm gonna do that right now so now back to 0.25 K which uh, I guess I could get some HP so let's go ahead and get some HP as well so it looks like that's all I can do I was like, that's cool so I'm gonna X this out let us do this thing and uh, so I'm just gonna walk around, tap tap tap. Maybe I'll I'll conclude this uh, review with the snake style attack because I think that's pretty cool. Um, so you know, um, oh actually before I do that, uh, I should show you uh, a few different attacks. So like I think I show you these attack already. And uh, so these are attack that the special attack that you can you know dish out anytime you want. Here's a second tab and basically these are the skills that unlocks uh, for your character and these skills are just kind of like randomly executed you know uh, per your AI but then when you also tap on the screen on the character uh, on the zombies and things like that it will also try to uh, use that attack randomly too so like I said if you start tapping on the various zombies in the game you will attack faster than if you let the AI attack uh, so I'm just like breezing through here uh, but let's go back here, here real quick. So like, yeah, I unlocked quite a bit of skills already, right? You know, um, so um, it's, uh, I don't know how, like, I guess these lower ones are even more powerful uh, skills. Um, but like, you know, they, they look pretty cool. Um, but like, again, um, you know, like this game doesn't explain to you a lot. So I don't know if like the uppercut is stronger than the palm strikes. I have no idea. I'm guessing it is because it unlocks a lower level. I mean, at higher level, so I'm assuming that's more powerful, but don't know. Question mark. Uh, so, and then the third button over here basically gives you some basic stat about your character. So, as you can see, highest wave that I achieve is 86, you know, just, you know, things like that. I mean, you guys play role playing games, I don't have to explain this to you. Uh, so, X this out. Uh, anything else that I should go through? Oh, yeah, so you, like, you have scrolls. Uh, in a game, so these are various different scrolls. Uh, you you would get scroll from treasure chests, or you could uh, buy a scroll by using uh, these crystal points. Um, I think it's a waste of money uh, because crystal points you have to buy it. With, I mean, you could get some in, in a game, but you get a whole lot more if you spend real money. So like for me, it's like I find a real waste buying scrolls because they're temporary. You know, it's just not worth it in my opinion. Opinion, even though it's only cost 10 I would rather use uh, these purple gems uh, to buy uh, Jade because Jade would allow me to uh, you know permanently upgrade my character which actually I have enough so let's go ahead and do this so you see it um, so I have 50 J, 50 J gets me 5.19k and then 500 gets me this much and uh, two and a half gets me that much um, I divided the ratio actually on this. <laughs> uh, the ratio is about the same, really. So there's you you really don't really get a savings uh, or get more um, J points if you buy it at a five hundred level or at the twenty five hundred level. I mean, there's like point like it's like a thousandth of a difference, thousandth like point oh oh, you know, two or one of a difference. It, it really don't make that much difference. So I just kind of like I don't really want to wait to for five hundred crystals to get that so I usually whenever I hit about whenever I hit 50 I'm just gonna go ahead and buy some so I got 5.19 K of J points I just got some am I enough to uh, get some upgrade on my uh, character let's see uh, you know I'm gonna 
I'm gonna spend some on you know why not Let's spend some on on coin drop right you know let's buy two of them so that I could upgrade quicker. Um, so you know I I think that's pretty much in the game that I that you know there is to it. I mean like it's pretty. I think there's you know like fighting in waves and things that I think is pretty self-explanatory. You know like the boss challenge. I think you know you guys spin through it. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, looks like I maxed out money, so let me just just do some upgrades real quick. All right, looks like that's auto upgrade. So yeah, let me just end this review by maybe using the tier four special attack again, so you guys can see it because I think it's pretty cool. So yeah, so all right, I'm ready for a boss fight, and uh, I just think it's cool, like the whole like you know uh, screen turns green and it's like he's like super angry. It's like you know he's just like you know, pummeling this, <laughs> the boss, you know, so, uh, oh, cool, I got a purple item, got some money, nice, so, yeah, I think, uh, that pretty much sums up my review for this game of Kung Fu Z, uh, I find it, um, you know, quite enjoyable, uh, again, it's a passive game, uh, you don't really need to actively play it if you don't want to, uh, so, you know, sometimes we just, you know, have my iPhone on, and just put it on the side, have the screen on, and it's as almost watch, watching like an interactive screensaver. Um, so to me, I, I I enjoyed it. I mean, I, I spent five dollar on it. Yes, it's a free game, but you know at the same time, you know developer needs to get paid. You know they have family and kids and whatnot. You know, so I don't mind spending a little, little bit of money. You know, fighting a good fight, right? You know. So um, yeah, I mean, if you uh, like this review and you find this game kind of fun, you know, awesome. You know, I hope uh, my review helps you and. Uh, in some ways, explaining how this game works. Um, so anyway, um, peace out.